well aware of the fact that these normally aren't the, the best videos to look at because all you see is part of my face. So let's talk about the edge stable that's currently growing. Or I guess um, if you want to pledge to edge. Which I mean it works because it has that like alliteration bit to it with uh, the back half of it. So seeing Edge and Damien Priest looks fantastic. Damien Priest really needs something to do. He had a tremendous amount of uh, I he had a tremendous amount of just great buzz going for him with the Bad Bunny stuff, but then it capitalized. So I'm like, okay, well, what what else do we need to do with him? Um, Seeking up his heel turn, but at the same time that Edge decided to obliterate AJ's brain with a steel chair. That's good. That's that's a nice, you know. If you really pay attention, sometimes wrestling is really, really well done. If you pay attention, which is hard to do, because everything gets repeated a dozen times and it kind of loses all meaning after a while. They've been talking about and other people to the stable. Okay. Rhea Ripley's name comes up. Rhea Ripley is undeniably a star. She has a great presence. She works a very, a very interesting style. And an incredibly unique look. If you go back and watch her May Young classic stuff, when you see is her just, you know, prototypical blonde powerhouse, to where she is now, with you know the, the partially shaved head, the tattoos, the black, the chain, the studs, the spikes. It's a incredibly different individual. You can see if you watch it through NXT UK, you see that nice progression. But recently it's like I'm in a, a tag team with Nikki Ash. Cool. Things is all. Alright. Blow off you. Cool. And now she's in a tag team with Liv Morgan. Okay. Things aren't going well. They're going to implode. Cool. Then what? We just kind of run out of, you know, smaller women to form a tag team with. Unless it's like, are oh, you would like to bliss? You're getting progressively, you know, shorter. Now, thinking about that, it's like, would you put Ripley in that group with Edge? Yes. She definitely has the level of angst one would expect to be like, you know what? I tried being the, the good guy, trying to get you to cheer me. That didn't work. So I'll be my own person now, which in turn will get more people to cheer her. And let's be honest, when you saw the Priest and Edge in the ring together, in, you know, the, the suits, you can easily picture Rhea Ripley in either... I wouldn't say, I mean, I've seen her in a gown before, and she plays it off well, but just imagine her in a similar sort of looking like Pantsu. She would look like she belongs. You would then have individuals who have vastly different voices. It's only different styles, but they all have a similar it factor. A similar just vibe coming from them. And of course they would ever do, you know, multi-people, multi-person intergender matches. You all have people who are in great shape with tattoos. Who all have a very similar, you know, like like large stature. And it would make for just a really super impressive and impactful look. They've also bounced around like Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, I love Ciampa, and I think he did fantastic work in NXT. However, let it let him see what he can do on his own beyond being like, well, that's Ezekiel. You know, give him give him a storyline. If it ends up being the fans don't get behind him, that's the catalyst. The catalyst is I tried to do this, I tried to get you behind me. You said no. And since you said no, I said yes to Edge. You know, what he's doing works. Cool. I'm entirely fine with that. But give him the reason for doing it. Don't have it be one of those moments like, here's my buddy. His name is Butch. No. No, give us a reason as to why this is going. I just, you know by someone else, this is Butch. No. Develop the character, then, then do that switch to put them in the stable with somebody else. But Champa right now would really look odd and out of place. He'd be the shortest person. He has no tattoos. You know, everyone else, he, he looks kind of like if Ed shaved his head. And then, you know, shrunk. I think if you bring in Ripley, because I've always been a huge fan of groups that mix genders. Because that way then, if you want to actually, you know, we're taking over, cool. Then you've got someone to hold the men's titles, the women's titles. You 
know, with them talking about the bloodline, if they ever bring up Sola Sokoa now, he doesn't need it, if they bring up Sola Sokoa now, he would be fantastic to put him as the guy. Here's your up-and-comer, here's your single star, and then, you know, if the if the Naomi Sasha thing peters out, throw Naomi in that group too. She's tied into the bloodline. And if they wanted to have Tamina, you know, divorce Tazawa, then you've got people who can go after the women's tag belts. You know, do, do the things that allow you to create a group that can that can very easily and quickly cover all the different bases, because then you make a really interesting looking stable, which you really haven't had that much of in a lot of the, the mainstream companies. You don't see it as often. I'd have for Hit Row in the same fashion. You'd have a single star attack and a woman. Boom, You've now, you now can hit functionally your, your three major categories of championships. Perfect. But Hit Row, ton of money left on the table, happens. So I think if they want to do the, the pledge to edge, you know, Rhea Ripley makes perfect sense. She would fit in ridiculously well. Whether they had her do, you know, a pantsuit or they had her do something more... I mean, even if they did something more that was like a... I don't say evening gown, but for like of terminology. Had her in a dress, had open back to show how shredded she is. You know, do something that plays off both. Here is, here's my femininity. Oh, and by the way, too, I'm also a physical beast. Which she also can do in a pantsuit. I mean, the ability to make money with her is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I know that in the past, the E has always had this issue where it's, where it's okay, well, exactly how, how, how do we capitalize on, you know, a obviously unconventional look from the eyes of a 70-year-old man? You know, there's, there's things you can, you know, there's, there's a market for every, for every style of look. That's why I enjoy AEW's women's division. I know, weird thing to say. The division that probably gets the least amount of, of praise has a fantastic array of women in different styles. I also like watching NWA wrestling, women's division too. Nice plethora of looks and styles. Seeing the NXT, U, NXT right now in NXT UK, you've got women who look vastly different, who wrestle vastly different. You know, capitalize on the fact that you have somebody who has a presence, who looks larger than life, but also be incredibly down to earth, which you would not expect for someone who's, you know, I think she's 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 near six foot, and she's just a a huge individual, which really plays off fantastically well on on the screen. And for social media work, you can tell she puts in a tremendous amount of work to look the way that she does. And it's incredibly admirable. And she needs something that's going to put her in a spotlight that she definitely deserves to be in. I think throwing her in the group with Edge, since she has the makings of the storyline that makes sense organically to put her into it, definitely a direction to go. Well, I guess I, I, I do this, but you know, my one figures out.